Hello friends, I am Shweta Singh, Assistant Professor, Biani Girls College. I welcome you all on behalf of Guru KPO. The topic on which I am going to speak today is about an introduction to plant tissue culture. What plant tissue culture, what are the steps and how we use it in the form of technology. So scientists are continuously trying to modify the domestic animals and plants. They are adopting a lot of new different type of techniques that they can use in science so that the variety of plant or animal that can be increased. One of them is the plant tissue culture. Plant tissue culture, it is a technique of culturing a plant cell, tissue or an organ in a culturing medium in vitro or in test tube under laboratory condition, aseptic condition. So, this is a definition of plant tissue culture and there are different type of types of plant tissue culture. Now we will uh, discuss about what is a suspension. A suspension is a liquid formulation which is which contain individual cells which are scattered. They are not in a collective form, they are scattered, they are present in that liquid medium. So this is called as suspension. Whereas a culture, whereas a callus is a mass which is collective, a cells are present collectively in a solid media. Here a liquid media is not used, a solid media is used. We use gelating agents like agar in case of callus formation which occurs from an explant. What is an explant now? Explant is the portion or you can say apart from the original plant that's, that is called as the explant. It can be a stem, it can be an anther, it can be a shoot. So that particular part of the original plant is called as explant and that explant forms callus. Now another thing is about the culture medium, the medium where the explant it grows to form callus what that culture medium it contains. Culture medium contains carbon sources, nitrogen sources, growth regulators like auxins and cytokinins, gelating agents like agar and a pH of about 5 to 6.5 is, is necessary to maintain and a temperature of 27 degrees centigrade. Now, auxins and cytokinins, auxins are necessary for the growth of roots and cytokinins are necessary for the growth of shoots. Auxins like 2,4-D, 2,4-diphenoxyacetic acid and uh, IAA that is indole acetic acid, it comes under auxins and cytokinins like ki kinetin and BAP that is benzyl aminopurine. So, these are the examples of these growth regulators. Now what is the exact mechanism in the plant tissue culture? We take an explant. That explant is then allowed to grow in the culture medium and then the callus formation will take place. That callus formation, that callus will then transfer into a medium containing cytokinin, rich amount of cytokinin medium where the shoot will produce or the shoot will appear, this process is called as shooting. Then that shoot will that transfer into a medium which is which will be having a high amount of auxin concentration that will help in the development of the roots. When both shoot and root will develop, that plant will be taken out into the field where that can be applied in the process of hardening. And this is how a small plantlet is formed from one major plant source. So this is how we are using this whole technology in the plant tissue culture. So this was all about an introduction in plant tissue culture. For more details, you can log on to our website www.gurukpo.com. Thank you, thank you and thank you.